Good morning. This is the Power Coach, Madeline Alexander. I want to welcome you to the Breakthrough Morning Show. You are on Power Coach Radio, where we break through barriers and achieve power results fast. I'm so glad to welcome you this morning to our show. We've had an amazing week. We've had a busy week. We've gotten a lot done this week. Are you moving forward with power and with passion. We are entering into February. Today is February 1st, 2013. Month one is over. How did your month go? How did you conclude? Did you finish strong? I know I was pressing you and moving you forward on Wednesday to close strong, and I know that you have. I know that you have gotten yourself into gear. You've elevated, and you are accelerating, and you are moving forward to accomplish all that the Lord has for you, to step into your purpose, step into your mission, step into your vision for your life. Month one is done. We are moving into month two of 2013. You know that you can accomplish all things that the Lord has given you. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You are an overcomer, born of God, blessed and highly favored of the Lord. You are strong and courageous. I command you to be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Your labor is never in vain in the Lord, and we are climbing up to a higher place. We are moving forward to fulfill everything that the Lord has for us in every area of our lives. I'm so glad to have all of you join me, the Power Coach Madeline Alexander. So glad to have you here on the Breakthrough Morning Show. We have a great show for you today as we conclude our week. I always want to let you know you can reach out and connect with me. You can reach out through the website, connect at madelinealexander.com. You can send me a message. Also, reach out through email at info at madelinealexander.com. You can reach out through Twitter. Just reach out at The Power Coach. And also on Facebook.com, reach out, Facebook.com slash The Power Coach. And also search for the group Breakthrough with The Power Coach, and you can join the awesome Breakthrough family. Join in, be part of the discussion, be part of where we are going. We are on the move, making things happen from coast to coast all across the country. Great overcomers are stepping in to their vision, stepping into their mission and purpose of the Lord, elevating to the blessed life, not just the, a good life, not just a great life, but the blessed life, the life that the Lord has planned for you, the best life for you is the blessed life that the Lord has planned in advance and equipped you to live. He's given you every gift and ability, every talent. He's given you the personality. He's given you every attribute that you need to succeed. Step into it, overcomer, and fulfill all that the Lord has for you. Did you do your checkpoint? Did you do that? Did you take a few minutes to look at where you are and look at if you repeated the actions that you have done in the month of January, if you repeat it 11 more times, are you going to finish strong? Are you going to finish at the place of destiny that's intended for your life? I want you to take a look at that, and I want you to do that inventory. Make sure that you don't finish the week without that. Just take a few minutes, even if it's just a few minutes uh, today, that you sit down and just with a clean sheet of paper, just sit down, clear your mind, and look at your results for the month of January. You have to do a checkpoint on your goals. If we don't do that, then we are in danger of doing what most people do, which is sliding back into the comfort zone and ending up in a situation where you will abandon your New Year's resolutions, you'll abandon your goals in about two weeks. 80 to 90% of all New Year's resolutions are abandoned by February 15th. And so what differentiates the person who produces average results and the person who produces extraordinary results has to do with your willingness to look at what you are producing and make adjustments. Use the power strategy of adjustment that I share with you on a continual basis. You've got to do it. But right now is the time, Overcomer. Right now is the time to do that checkpoint. Take a look at it. It's February 1st. Make the adjustments. If you do it now, you will put yourself on a trajectory for success for 2013. I don't want you to just have good intentions, just to have good plans, just good thoughts for the future. It's so important that you are taking action and producing results and looking at the results you're producing and reevaluating them and making adjustments, making adjustments. If you're off track, 
let's get back on track today. Let's get back on track. It's a great time to do it. We are entering into the second month. We're closing out this week. Get yourself adjusted. Get yourself back on track in the areas that you need to. And I guarantee you that you will produce the results that you want. It's not about trying to willpower it. You can't do it out of willpower. You have to get connected to the power of God that's on the inside of you and rise up to the level of the overcomer that God has called you to be and make sure that you're taking action. Make sure that you are doing all that you need to do to give the Lord great things to bless. He will bless the work of your hands, but you've got to give him something great to bless. So look at your results. Look at what you're producing and make the adjustments and do it without judgment. I always want to encourage you to look at what you do and do it without judgment. Do it without beating on yourself, but just say, I'm stepping up to a whole new level starting today. Today's a great day to start phase two of your goal plan for 2013. Today's a great day to do it, and I know, I absolutely know that you will. We are going to finish super strong. Did you receive the lesson, don't you dare, don't you dare compare? We talked about the comparison trap and getting free of that. Don't compare yourself to another person's timetable. Don't compare yourself to another person's talent. Treasure the talent that's on the inside of you and get ready to elevate to an awesome, awesome level. And I know that you will. Just look at accomplishing your personal best in everything that you do. And we started out We started out this week with a fantastic lesson called What is in Your Hand? Do what you can with what you have right where you are. Don't wait until all the situation lines up perfectly. That's never going to happen. Use what you have right now today. Start small and conquer all. What is in your hand that you can implement right now and move forward? Make sure that you get those lessons. Make sure that you are doing your mental conditioning and getting into action in those areas that we have covered this week. And we are going to do a powerful lesson to conclude the week that's talking about your personal creativity. I want you to join in. So many great new people that are jumping on the Breakthrough Morning Show. Welcome. This is the Power Coach, Madeline Alexander. I'm glad to have you here. We are here every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday at 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. Central Time. We get together for 30 minutes with the awesome Breakthrough family in the Breakthrough Morning Show. And what we do is we positively mentally condition. We get ready for success. You cannot produce success. You will not have a prosperous manifestation out of a weak mindset. A power mindset always precedes a prosperous manifestation. We have to exercise our mind. We have to exercise our spirit. We have to elevate to the level of extraordinary in our mindset so that we can produce extraordinary in our lives. And we do that by exercising. You have to develop mental toughness. You have to develop endurance and tenacity and determination and diligence and all of these other uh, aspects of mental agility and mental toughness to rise to the level of extraordinary in your life. You can't do it with a flabby mindset. You can't do it with a soft, pudgy mindset that can't stand up to the tests and the trials of life. You've got to get fit in your mindset. You've got to be strong and powerful. You have to be able to push against resistance and elevate to the next level, and that's what we do. We will not tolerate mental softness mental uh, weakness here on the Breakthrough Morning Show. I'm going to drill that out of you and get you to a place where you are strong and powerful mentally so that you can accomplish your dreams and goals. Most people do not fail. They quit. They quit because their mindset is soft. But we're not going to quit. We are going to endure. We're going to press forward. We are strong and courageous. We are steadfastly pushing forward in the plans and the purposes of God, and you will accomplish all that he has for you by developing a power mindset for success. So I want you, if you're brand new to the Breakthrough Family, if you're brand new to our awesome morning show, if you're brand new to joining me and coaching with me, power coaching with me, what I want you to do is go to the website at madelinealexander.com, and I want you to go to the bookstore, and I want you to invest in the books that we're reading in our online reading party. We are in the midst of reading How to Break Through Barriers and Achieve Power Results, Create Your Power Mindset for Success in 30 Days or Less. We're right in the midst of it. We're, on, uh, we're right in the middle of the book right now, and we're moving forward with power as we uh, – do a lesson each time we get together every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We are on day 18 a.m. today on day 18 a.m., and so join right in with us. 
Be sure to get your book so that you can do the power thoughts and the action steps. I don't want you to listen to me passively. It won't change anything in your life. You have to get active and implement what we talk about as we move forward each day. And then I want you to make the investment in power mindset to choose to be a champion. We're going right on to the championship level. We are going to continue on. There's a difference between a winner and a champion. And so we are going to elevate from this foundation of setting up the power mindset for success. We're going to elevate to a whole other level called the champion mindset, and we're moving right on into that. Phenomenal feedback is coming in all across the nation from the results of power mindset too. People that are pressing ahead, doing their mental conditioning every morning and every night, as I encourage you to do. And they're already reading, and they're already implementing, and it's making a huge difference in where they're going this year. And so we're going to do it all together as a group, but I want you to invest. I want you to invest in yourself. Anything that you put into your mindset is an investment. Anything that you adorn on your body or you eat for food, that is money that you're spending. But what you put into your mindset is going to return. It's going to return to you multiplied many times over. That's an investment in your mission. It's an investment in your vision. It's an investment in your future. So do it. Connect with me. Go to the bookstore today. Invest. Join our online reading party and let's make it happen in your life, Overcomer. Don't be the one who's just listening, passively sitting back. It's not going to make a difference. It's the people who are getting after it who are going to dominate in 2013. So people that are getting after it, I am hearing from you. I appreciate you. You are, you are implementing. You are moving forward, and you're changing the way that you think. And as you change the way you think, as you renew your mind, what's happening? You are producing different results in your life. So every morning and every night, we never take a break. Every day, you've got to feed your mind. You've got to feed your spirit, and you've got to go to the next level. And that's what we do here on the Breakthrough Morning Show. You're on Power Coach Radio where we break through barriers and we achieve power results fast in every aspect of our lives. Well, we are moving forward. We are on day 18. We're making it happen. Day 18 a.m. And we're in the phenomenal second edition. We're on page 100. We're on page 100 today. Our lesson is called Implement Your Ideas. Implement Your Ideas. We're talking about the power of creativity today. Our quote is from Alfred North Whitehead, and our quote says, Ideas won't keep. Something must be done about them. Ideas won't keep. Something must be done about them. And here is my commentary. Interrupting your routine thoughts are priceless ideas that are the keys to solving your problems, fulfilling your goals, and unlocking your future. Are you listening? Many great ideas are missed or dismissed in the static of the status quo daily routine? Do you have an idea for a new business, product, or service, an idea to streamline your household budget, an idea to solve a tough challenge on your job, or an idea to differentiate yourself with a potential new employer? Some ideas are brash and persistent, while others are subtle and fleeting, but all are perishable. They will die without action. What are you doing to bring your ideas to life? What are you doing to bring your ideas to life? Cultivate your creativity. Develop a habit of writing down your ideas. Select an action you can take today to move ahead. The battle is won when something is done. Implement your ideas. Amen and amen. Our power principle today is taken from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 55, verses 8 and 9 in the New King James Version of the Bible, and it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen and amen. Are you implementing your ideas? When we are in the midst of the, of the busyness of life, the status quo of the daily routine, what happens is the noise of the day, the noise and the combustion of the day drown out the creative ideas that are being downloaded from the Holy Spirit into your spirit. Creative ideas, multi-million dollar ideas, ideas that will transform your family, ideas that will transform your finances, that will transform your health are downloaded by the power of the Holy Spirit every single solitary day to your spirit. Are you listening? If you are in the midst of busyness, if you are in the midst of just doing your work and you're in the midst of just 
going to work and coming home, if you're just in the midst of managing things with the family and you're, you're just in the midst of the routine every day and you're not dialing in, you're not tuning in, you're not paying attention, you will miss the download that can be the idea that will absolutely transform your life in every single solitary area. We have to be paying attention and cultivate the power of creativity every day. Listening to your ideas, writing them down, being conscious not to dismiss what is coming to you every day, cultivating that as a daily success habit, that is key to your success moving forward in every area of your life. Getting yourself in a posture where you can be quiet, You can settle down and you can listen to the download. You can listen to the ideas from the Lord that are coming to you every single solitary day. The answers to the problems you are facing right now today are being spoken to you in a still, small voice. But if you are too busy, see, the Holy Spirit will not shout over your busyness. He's not going to demand your attention when you have a preoccupation with other things. We have to make room for the Lord to speak into our lives. If we don't make room for it, then he is going to be sharing with you and you're going to miss it. You're going to miss the concepts. You're going to miss the ideas. You're going to miss all of that. And I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss it. But you have to cultivate the habit of uh, listening and dialing in and being creative every day. God is giving you creative power. The Lord gives us the ability to create just as he creates. We are created in his image and in his likeness. And so creativity is innate in you. It's not something that there are just only creative people. We, we tend to label creative gifts, gifts like music or writing or art, and we label those as creative gifts. But really, every single one of us has creativity on the inside of us. Every one of us has the creative ability of God in us. And so we are constantly incubating ideas in our mindset. But most people are so busy with other stuff, they don't hear the ideas. They don't hear them. And if you hear them, you tend to dismiss them as being something that you're not capable of accomplishing. Because immediately what will come is, well, how am I going to do that? You'll get the idea and then you'll say, well, I don't know how I'm really going to implement that. I'm not sure how it's going to happen and we dismiss the idea. We dismiss it. You might get an idea for a multi-million dollar business, and you dismiss it. You might think of an invention. You might think of a way to innovate. You might think of a way to change a process that's already existing. And you think, ah, you know, for a minute you're excited about it, but then you dismiss it. You just let it go. You let it go. You may get a creative idea, but if you're in the midst of doing something else, you won't write it down. You won't take the time to have your notebook and write those ideas down, and you miss it. And then you try to recall it, and it's not there anymore because ideas are fleeting. It's like a conversation that is happening in your spirit, and if you're not dialed into it, you'll miss it, and you can't recall it out of your natural mind. You try to remember, but those things aren't coming into just your natural mind. They're coming into your spirit man so you've got to write it down you got to write it down now when we are most prone to getting creative ideas is when we first come out of our sleep state when we are at, when we are coming out of sleep and moving from the subconscious to the conscious your mind is wide open and you have all kinds of creative ideas that are that are uh, at work right then in those moments your spirit man He's not sleeping. He's commuting. Your spirit man, the true person that you are, you are a spirit. You live in a body. You have a soul, mind, your emotions, and your will. Your mind goes to sleep. Your conscious mind rests, and your subconscious takes over, but your spirit man's awake. Your spirit man is communing with the Holy Spirit all night. When you wake up in the morning, you'll wake up and have fresh ideas. That's why people say something like, you know, we'll sleep on it, sleep on it. That's really true. Your subconscious works. Your subconscious is at work processing information, and your spirit man is alive and alert and awake to the Holy Spirit of God. And you have to understand how your brain works and how your spirit works, how all that works together. When you wake up in the morning, guess what you've got to do? Give yourself a few minutes of quiet time. Don't turn the TV on. Don't jump online. Don't, don't do that. Don't. Just jump out of bed and and negate that time right there. That is the most precious time of your day, those first few minutes when you wake up. You you have a gold mine of ideas in your mindset when you first wake up because you have uninterrupted time that the Holy Spirit is ministering to you. Go to sleep with positive thoughts. Go to sleep with good things in your mindset so you have calm, restful sleep. And when you wake up, 
give yourself some quiet time. Give yourself 15 minutes of quiet time with a notepad and a pen and expect to hear from the Lord. Expect to hear. Expect to write down those ideas. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten ideas for my business, ideas to help other people, concepts that solved extremely difficult problems right in the morning when I wake up in the morning because I'm expecting to hear. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting to hear from the Lord. I'm expecting my subconscious to have processed. I've ex- I'm expecting that. And I'm listening without noise or without interruption. You've got to get quiet. But if you turn on the TV, you turn on the radio, you're, you're running around the house, you're trying to get yourself together to go to work, and you're not paying any attention, those ideas are going to go right through. They're going to, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss that opportunity. So we have to cultivate this habit of listening and then right with that we have to practice the habit of creating we have to cultivate the habit to create you have the ability to create in you but you have to allow yourself that time and space to sit and think and say how can I solve this issue how can I solve a problem how can I solve what is happening in my relationship how can I solve this issue with my team at work how can I solve this challenge with my customer in my business how can I solve that And you work your way through a process of asking questions and resolving issues. That's what you do every day. Cultivate the habit of asking yourself questions that allow you to generate ideas. If you have a tough challenge financially and if you say, I can't afford it, that's what you say to yourself, a statement, I can't afford it, you shut down your creativity. If you put one word in front of that and you say, how can I afford it? You ask yourself a different question. Guess what's happened? What happens? Your mind moves into creativity because you ask yourself a how question. How can I afford it? How can I make this change in my business? How can I advance? How can I move forward? How can I resolve this conflict? How? How do I do it? Ask yourself. Give yourself time and space to sit and be quiet without interruption and listen. And trust that the Lord will minister answers to you. You have to trust that. You have to develop a relationship with the Lord that is strong enough that you can hear him. God is all-knowing, he's all-powerful, and he wants to download that power and strength into you. But we have to do a couple of things. One, we have to listen. Two, we have to cultivate the habit of creating. We have to give ourselves space every day. In a 24-hour time span every day, you must have space to create, not just do. You have to have space to say, what's the new way? How can I innovate? How can I improve? How can I do this differently that's more effective? How can I move forward in a way that's more efficient? How can I draw new customers into my business? How can I do it? How do I do it? How do I have stronger, more impactful connections with the people in my life? How do I have stronger, more impactful, more profitable connections with the people in my business? You have to ask yourself those questions and allow yourself the space to answer without distraction. You have to write down what you receive and don't dismiss any idea because you don't know how to implement yet. Mission, then method. We always get the idea, the concept, the vision first before you're going to get the implementation strategy. That's okay. Don't dismiss an idea because you're not exactly sure how you're going to do it yet. It's all right. It will come. But if you don't listen for the idea and you don't write it down and you don't pay attention and you don't believe that you're worthy to get that multi-million dollar business idea, it won't come to you. You'll miss it. It's coming, but you're not listening. You're not listening and you'll miss it. You'll miss it. So we have to dial in, listen, pay attention, write things down first thing in the morning and before you go to bed at night, do the same thing. Give yourself the ability to be brief. Give yourself the ability to write things down. Get things out of your mindset onto paper as much as you can. Journaling is a key habit. And successful people take the time every day. And and you may feel like, man, they're, they're just sitting and doing nothing. You may feel like that. Or you may see people that are, it's like they're sitting in their office and they're just thinking, like, what are they doing? They're cultivating They are implementing their ideas. They are allowing those ideas to come forth. You have to have time that you stop and allow the engine of your mind just to move into a creative state. It's not going to do it when you have to process tasks and projects and action items and to-do lists. You won't do it. You'll miss the creative space. The creative space is going to come when you quiet everything else down in your life. 
So do it before the day starts. Do it first thing in the morning. Wake up, set your alarm so you have time to plan and implement and have time to just be quiet and listen. Listen for the idea that will transform your life. Listen for the idea that will transform what you're going to accomplish in 2013. Listen for it. It's coming. Are you listening? That's the question. Then are you writing it down? Then are you moving forward into implementation? Are you doing something about it? Do you trust yourself with the ideas that come, or do you dismiss them by saying, ah, it's kind of, I don't know, that's not going to work. Many great ideas are missed or dismissed in the static of the status quo daily routine. Don't let your daily routine cause you to miss or dismiss an idea that is coming to you. Great inventions come. You might have an idea. Have you ever had that situation where you had an idea, you dismissed it, and then a year later you turn on the TV and there's your invention? That idea passed on to another person. And you're like, oh, I had that idea a year ago. Yep. But guess what? The difference between what you did and what the successful person did in that instance, you have success in you, you are successful. But in that instance is that you may have dismissed and you didn't take action. You didn't take it seriously. You didn't write it down. I know as a writer, when I begin to get inspiration from the Lord, it's like a download, and I have to stop immediately. I carry a notebook in my purse. I carry a notebook in my car. There's a notebook next to my bed. There's a notebook in every room because when that inspiration comes, I don't know when it's going to come, and it drops, and I have to write immediately, stop everything, write it down because if I don't do it, I'll lose it. I'll lose the idea. I'll lose the concept. But I take them seriously, and I expect that to happen every day. That's why there's a notebook everywhere. Is there a notebook in your car, in your purse, on your desk, by your bed? Because you expect the solution to come. You expect the answer to come. You expect it to manifest in your life. Or do you just think, you know, I'm just going to do what I do every day. I'm just in the daily routine. I'm not paying attention. Is the TV on all the time in your house? Is there noise constantly in your house? You don't get five minutes of quiet time. It's just noise all day, every day. From the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed at night, it's just noise. If you have noise all day, every day, you are missing ideas that will transform your life completely. And then you say, man, I don't know how to move ahead. I don't know know why because you're not listening. You're not listening. You're not dialing in and listening and getting the opportunity to be quiet. Your mind is so extraordinarily powerful. God has given you an amazing mind that can solve so many tough challenges and problems if you give it the opportunity and the right environment to do so. You have to get the negativity out. You have to get the word of God in. You have to get positive mental conditioning in you, and you have to give yourself space and time to create space and time every day you are a creative being created in the image and likeness of god creativity lives in you ideas and innovation and the ability to create it lives in you it lives in you every day you have the ability to move forward in every area of your life what you need to transform every area. Now, sometimes we have to get instruction. Sometimes we have to get counsel. We have to learn new skills all the time. You have to develop that, absolutely. But it feeds into this process of creativity. And when you allow your mind to generate from the information you already know, the stuff you already know right now today, you trust yourself to generate new ideas and solutions and answers. You expect answers to come. You ask yourself for answers and they come because the Lord is communing with you. It's not that it has to come out of just you. It's not just out of what you can do. I am all about connecting you to the power of God. God, he is infinite, all-powerful, and all-knowing. So that's who you need to sit down with every day and let him download what he knows. Get revelation from the Lord daily, and you can solve any challenge or any problem that is facing you. He'll bring people to your mind that you need to connect with, divine connections, ideas, solutions, approaches, strategies. I have a prayer journal in my home, and every day I write in that prayer journal. And it's amazing. Like People say, man, that was a really great idea you did with this book, or you did that. You know where that comes from? From the download every day from the Lord. And I implement what I receive because I believe that those ideas are divinely inspired. I don't dismiss what comes to me as, oh, that's kind of stupid. I don't think I can do that. I don't care how big it is. 
It might not be today, but you write it down and you expect that you will have an opportunity to implement that idea. It doesn't matter. I have ideas for things that I haven't done yet that are maybe five years out in advance because I I have to uh, complete some of their tasks along the way. But those ideas will be implemented because I believe they are divinely inspired. It's not about just what you can do out of your own human strength. It's about tapping into the power of God on the inside of you. But you have to stop running around being busy all day and not listening. You've got to take the time to listen, to trust, to believe in yourself and believe in the power of God that's operating on the inside of you and believe in the idea, write it down, and then implement Put yourself in a posture of implementation every single solitary day, every day. Will you do that? If you do that, I guarantee you that you will have the ability to transform every single area of your life. Every area of your life, the Lord will minister to you. The Holy Spirit is resonant with you. If you have a relationship with God, the Holy Spirit is resonant with you. And he will bring to your remembrance everything that you need. He'll bring it from the word of God. He'll bring it from instruction. He'll bring it from from, uh, good counsel, wise counsel from people. He'll bring those things to your remembrance. And he'll put it all together in a way that it, it is the solution to everything that you need. To elevate your business, to elevate your career, to change your relationships. But you have to not discount, overcomer, what the Lord gives you. You can't say, ah, it's coming. That's kind of dumb. I don't know. I can see that for somebody else, but I don't see that for me. You can't discount. You can't say, that's too big for me. I don't see how I can do that. That's for somebody else. You can't discount the invention. You can't discount the innovation. You can't discount the business strategy. You can't discount those things when they come to you. They are priceless. They are precious. They are the essence of God delivered to you. See, I believe that every idea that the Lord gives to me, that's for me. He's not giving that to somebody else. When he downloads something I am to write, then that's for me, and I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that idea, and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to run with that. I'm going to run. When he says, okay, I have an idea. I have a way that I want you to express. When I got the idea, even for this, the Breakthrough Morning Show, and where this is going, this is, you know, I'm building something, and I know the Lord is taking it, but it started with an idea, and this is one of the implementation steps of that idea. It's not the end result. It's the implementation step. But if I dismiss it, oh, I'm not really going to do that. I don't think that's that going to work. Guess what? You wouldn't be with me right now this morning. You wouldn't be with me. Because that's an idea that is a seed that's a, going to birth something huge. It's going to birth something gigantic. I know where it's going, and I know what the Lord is birthing, and I'm just walking out the steps. I'm just walking out the steps with him. I'm walking it out as he gives it to me to do. But I will implement because I trust that everything that the Lord gives me is worthy of implementation, and I will align my time. I will prioritize my time. You're not too busy. It's not that you don't have time. You are not prioritizing your time properly to take the time you need to sit down and be quiet and turn everything off and listen. In those moments of stillness, every idea you need to transform every aspect of your life is being downloaded to you. Are you listening? Are you listening? Today, it's Friday. Take the time. Finish your work. Before you enter into the weekend, take, to, take some time to say, you know what, I'm going to start listening. I'm paying attention. Multi-million and multi-billion dollar ideas are coming to you if you will listen. Ideas that will transform your family, change your children, transform your marriage, renew your body, strengthen your health, refresh you, transform your life, build your spirit, They're coming to you every day. Are you listening? Today you're going to listen. Tomorrow, throughout the weekend, take some time to get quiet and listen. Start the week every day in the morning. From this day forward, 15 minutes, be quiet and listen to the download that's coming to you because your life is filled with greatness, but you won't step into the greatness. You're equipped to be extraordinary, but you won't step into your extraordinary if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord that is telling you how to move from where you are right now today to the extraordinary life that he has intended for you. Every one of you, I will tell you every day, I I care about you so much. You're part of the Breakthrough family. I want to tell you every single solitary day, there's absolutely no expiration date that's stamped on the back of your dream. Whatever's burning in your heart to accomplish, it's yours to achieve. You are equipped to be extraordinary. You are gifted for greatness. You are encoded with the exceptional 
and the Lord is speaking to that greatness that's on the inside of you every day. You're more than a conqueror. You're an overcomer. Are you listening? He's giving you the ideas to step into your greatness. He's giving you the ideas to elevate. He's giving you what you need. Are you listening? Turn the TV off and listen because those ideas that are going to transform your life, they are coming to you right now today. Pay attention. Get out of the busyness. Get out of distraction. Get out of the noise. Tune in to the Lord. Listen. And the ideas you need right now to solve the toughest challenge you're facing right now, he'll download it to you. I guarantee you that. In Jesus' name, he's going to speak to your spirit today, tomorrow, over the weekend, Monday, Tuesday, every day. Dial in. Listen. You are blessed to be a blessing. You're gifted for greatness. You are encoded with the exceptional. You are absolutely equipped to be extraordinary. Whatever's burning in your heart to accomplish is yours to accomplish. I want you to step forward, and I want you to value as precious every idea, every thought. Don't discount it. Don't say it's silly. Don't say it's stupid. Don't say it's too big. Don't say, I don't know how I'm going to do it. You don't devalue what the Lord gives you. You write it down. Don't share your dream with everybody. Defeat the dream killers. Don't tell everybody. You incubate that in your heart. Let your ideas incubate in you because someone else can speak a word and cancel the the blessing that the Lord has for you. They can say, I don't know how that's going to work, and cancel your blessing. Don't share everything that God gives you. You incubate it in your heart. You write it down, and you let him cultivate it in you so it grows up big in you, and you can do it. So many people, their dreams get shot down on sight because they share it with somebody else that doesn't understand your vision. They don't know your purpose, and they shoot your ideas down. Don't do that. You incubate it in your heart, and you let the Lord speak to your heart. And you hold that thing, and you write it down, and you go after it because if he's given it to you to do, he's going to give you the, 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 the provision. He's going to give you the method. He's going to give you the strategy. He's going to give you everything you need to take it seriously and implement it. But you've got to listen. You've got to pay attention. You've got to write it down. And don't discount it. If he gave it to you, it's for you. You can do it in Jesus' name. I don't know who I'm – this is specifically for a person. You you have had this situation where the Lord's giving you an idea. You feel me right now. You're like, oh, he's giving you an idea, and somebody else canceled it with words spoken over you. I'm just – I am canceling that right now in Jesus' name. That's not going to happen to you again. God's going to speak those ideas, and they're going to stay with you, and you're going to cultivate it, and you're going to make it happen, overcomer. I feel you in my spirit today, and I'm in agreement with you. I stand in agreement with you right now. If this is you, you receive this. I stand in agreement with you that the ideas and the concepts and the plans of God will be spoken into your heart. You will receive it. You will incubate it, and you will bring it to pass, and you will not fail. You will succeed in Jesus' name, and no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. No negative word, no limiting speech over you from anyone will cancel the plan and the purpose of God in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. And if that's you, you email me at info at madelinealexander.com. I need to hear from you so I can pray for you. And we're going to stand in agreement that you're going to implement that idea. That's not going to happen to you again. You feel me right now. You feel, I feel your spirit so strong. Overcomer, I am with you. If that's you, you need to email me. I'm, I'm absolutely serious. And you're going to elevate in the plan and the purpose of God. Everything that he has for you is coming to pass. In Jesus' name, I decree it and I declare it over you today. Amen. You go forth and have a fantastic weekend. This is the Power Coach, Madeline Alexander. You're on the Breakthrough Morning Show. You're on Power Coach Radio where we break through barriers and we achieve power results fast. Listen to your ideas. Write them down, overcomer. You're equipped to be extraordinary. Go out and have an awesome weekend. Get after it. Listen to the plans and purposes of God. Do everything that he's commanded you to do because you're well able to do it. You can do it. It's yours to achieve. Amen and amen. I appreciate you. Go to the bookstore. Get your books. Get an agreement. Let's do this thing. Let's make it happen. It's February 1st. Let's burst forth with new ideas, new passion, new power in everything that the Lord has called you to do. Amen? Amen. I want you to go out there, change someone's life, touch someone, and today, live the extraordinary.